Day here in the Weather Center now with Chief Meteorologist Lynette Charles for a closer look at that severe weather. And by the way, we want to see some more of your pictures that people have been sending in. They've been doing it since... I, don't know, I know. I know. <laughs> weeks. They keep on saying we have more and more of these pictures, goodness. but it's great to have this gallery because we can't get to every single place. So send us those pictures. Pix at wmar.com. There has been a lot of, and you can also go in that gallery and check out some of the photos from around the area. Just incredible, though, when you see the actual video of that tornado coming mm -hmm. down. That we know there was another tornado two in just one week in Howard County. I can't remember anything like that happening. Exactly. Before. So we had one in Columbia last week. This one was in Glenelg, and it's just amazing how. Just you can see the root system of the trees, yeah. how powerful it is. Big but trees. also we've been dealing with a macro burst as well. That what we had yesterday. I know a lot of people have been thinking that it's a micro burst, but not so much. Uh, definitely the difference between the two. And as we continue through the rest of today, uh, we'll start to see some changes. But that downburst for the macro burst is a large downburst, and the winds extend over two and a half miles long. That's the difference from the micro burst, which is usually less than or equal to about two and a half miles long. And again, the macro burst, burst versus the micro. Burst. Don't get that confused with the tornado. No, all those are just different. 